Hi, this is your brother teacher again with some more information uh, about your daily living and daily living habits and things that we have been doing for a long time and not fully comprehending that we've been hurting or harming ourselves in the process. So what am I talking about? Look at this. This look familiar? It's a cup of noodles. Some people call them ramen or ramen noodles. They come in all types of varieties of flavors. Chicken, chili, beef, and so forth. Now, let me say this. I understand convenience. I get it. I really do. Ladies and gentlemen, I get it. Convenience. But sometimes, convenience comes with a cost. And more so than not, when it comes to our diet, or our eating habits, the cost can be very tragic. So listen. Noodles have been around for hundreds of years and even thousands in Asia. Did you not know that Asia started out selling instant noodles a long time ago? And other countries picked it up because they found it to be, as I said earlier, very convenient. And the United States ran a good second place selling noodles. And I don't know what year it was, but it was uh, some research done and over a billion packages of the instant noodles like this that you break up into some hot water, stir, over a billion packets of instant noodles were sold, I guess one particular year in the United States alone. Doesn't that tell you something about its popularity? But there's a catch. The noodles are not healthy for us. I've eaten ramen noodles. I've given them to my children. I have people who buy them from my store. I, I, of course, I've sold them. And I have many, many friends and associates that purchase them for their children, you know, when they don't have time uh, to fix a, a conventional meal or make a sandwich or what have you for their children and they're on the go as it were so the noodles seem to be the quickest thing that they can do and on top of that they microwave the noodles or the water and put the noodles in the microwaved water you know I'm against microwaves right radiation can you say that so if you're going to cook anything use the conventional method of boiling it in a non-aluminum pot stainless steel well anyway getting back to the noodles uh, noodles are made with refined flour which is a flag already for me there's no nutrition in it so the noodles themselves are white flour bleached from wheat flour if you will uh, so where's the nutrition at? Now it has a plethora of other ingredients to include sodium or salt and other flavor enhancers and inhibitors and uh, non-sticking agents and whatever they else decide to uh, add to it. And that's not good for us. But the real stickler, the real culprit that makes it even worse for us is those little silver packets that come inside the packages you won't find them in here because the flavor is really already just spread in here but in here you'll find the little silver packet excuse the phone I'm not going to stop my message just because the phone rang I apologize let me see if I can turn this down we're gonna get right back All right, I apologize again, forgive me. So, 
the little silver packet that comes in those little square uh, noodles. Did you know that there's MSG in that packet? Monosodium glutamate or glutamate. It is a flavor enhancer to pull out the flavor. And that's used in a lot of products nowadays. But there's uh, a secret about that that they're not telling you. Monosodium glutamate causes potential birth defects with women. It can call, excuse me, it can cause neurotoxicity as well. Monosodium glutamate should never be consumed, ladies and gentlemen. It is a toxin. Now, there's a common product that you might find in the store if it's still around uh, in your spice section. It's called Accent. If you've ever used it, it usually comes in a, a red plastic or glass container. Uh, Accent. It's been around for many years. That's monosodium glutamate. And then they have other varieties and or brands of MSG. Spray it or spread it or shake it on your food or your products to bring out the flavor again, especially on meats. So if it's a neurotoxin or if it's toxic just in general, why are we consuming it? Okay, there's another ingredient in your noodles your instant noodles ramen type and it's called I can't pronounce the name because it's so long but you can look it up it's TBHQ it is a preservative that adds to the shelf life of the noodles alright that's contained in there also but did you not know that this preservative is used in perfume and cosmetics and even in varnish it is so to beat all, your noodles are high in sodium or salt. Are you getting the message right around this time of this video? Ramen noodles or any brand of instant noodles that have a little packet contained therein or comes in a cup that has the powder already conveniently placed in the, in the mix for you start reading your ingredients and care about what you're reading don't just read it just to be reading it okay they the food manufacturers are in the business of making money they need to keep the product on the shelf long enough for us we the consumers to purchase it so they put all of these chemicals and all of these additives in our food supply so that they can make a profit from us if they didn't put it in there it's not going to stay in the store long enough it's just going to spoil or waste away it's going to rot but aren't our lives important to them I'm sure you know the answer if our lives and our well-being our health were important to the food manufacturers then they would no doubt discontinue feeding us poison carcinogenic products so what are you saying brother teacher ladies and gentlemen what I'm saying to you right now listen to me very carefully take charge of your life take charge of your health because you are in control of it I'm not going to say whether you believe it or not. You are in control of it. Stop letting industry control you.